and good evening. Yes, here we are. It's, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it's Saturday night. Uh, it's time for something a little bit different. Um, it's time to have a look at the new coach for Firmbus. Yeah, um, did a video on it that came out uh, yesterday on Firmbus Friday. Um, did a short trip in it that time, but thought this time do something a little bit longer and have a proper go with it. Um, so we'll kick on the start game. Um, so you can then see the route that I intend on taking us on, which is Hamburg to Constance. Uh, yeah. So last time uh, in the video, I went from Kiel to Hamburg. Uh, this time we're going to go Hamburg to Hanover to Kassel to Würzburg and all the way down to Constance, uh, which I worked out should be an hour or so. Um, so we'll do that. And we're going to take this. The Comfort Class S519 HD, due for release on the 30th of this month. Yep, not out yet. Um, there is also, which we can't um, access, a 517, uh, not available as yet. Um, but we'll go back to the 519. Can't really customize it, there's no repaints for it or anything yet. Um, but yeah, we'll take this for a spin. Start time, we're gonna have us 5.52 a.m. So it should probably still be dark uh, when we start. Weather dynamic, as I do always. So it's the weather set for the date, which is today. Um, so it should be nice and wintry. So we'll click on the start game. And yes, Firm Bus Reloaded is definitely correct. They have done a lot of improvements to this game over the last month or so. Uh, it's running a lot smoother, uh, running a lot better. Um, it's, um, it's finally the game that it should have been all along. Uh, and it's taken TML, what, a year um, to get to that point. But well worth the wait. Still takes a very long time to load the game, mind you. Not only up to the load screen, the main, main menu where we were, uh, although that has improved, uh, this bit of the game still takes a long time to load, which is why I no longer, when I record my YouTube videos, include this in it. Um, I start at the, at the um, outside of the coach because uh, this takes a long time. But yeah, we're going to have a bit of a journey in it this evening. Um, may do a bit of a split stream this evening. Um, may record this journey and then jump in something a little bit multiplayer uh, after this uh, with some of the Motley crew um, that are sat in the uh, Sims and Stuff Discord server as we speak. Um, so yeah, might do something uh, with those. Depends how long this journey takes. Uh, I worked out it should be an hour or so, uh, but we will see. Depends on traffic, depends if we get any detours, although the random roadblocks are now off, so you won't get police blocking the roads anymore. Uh, that was um, filled with a bit of controversy uh, in that there were certain places you couldn't actually get to because the roads are blocked. So not good when you're trying to take a coach to a destination. Um, well, thank you very much for that. I've watched all your bus and coach streams on YouTube. First time I'm watching a stream. Well, there you go. A bit of one-to-one -one interaction then. Hi, Bob. And Noz is hosting. Thank you very much, uh, Noz, for that. So, yes, when it finally does load, uh, which is, say, the long bit with this game, is actually getting the thing to load. Uh, I did think about starting the stream uh, at the uh, point of um, departure, but, uh, well, yeah, we can all sit through the pain together and we'll have a long journey in the coach. Really, really impressed with this coach. So one of five, I think, variants of the new coach to come. Uh, due for release on the 30th of this month. Uh, huge thanks, as always, to TML uh, for letting me have it early. Um, when the game finally loads, we'll make it take a nice long journey, a proper look around. I haven't quite worked out all the controls yet myself, because literally, as I recorded the video that went out yesterday, uh, I was looking at the controls uh, live in the video. So how things work, etc. Um, we'll have another look at throughout the journey today. So yes, welcome if you're new to the streams. Welcome if you're new to Firmbus. Normally my streams are Wednesday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wednesday is trucking. Friday is A and other. Uh, Saturday, undecided. Uh, could be some single player Saturday. Uh, and then Sunday is more Euro truck. So back tomorrow night, continuing our journey around the outskirts of Europe uh, in, Euro tr in Euro truck, starting in Montpellier. And we all drive the same trucks uh, in Euro truck. 
So tomorrow is Renault Premium time. So that's going to be interesting. 7 p.m. live on Twitch. A couple of hours of trucking tomorrow night. At this rate, we'll be sat waiting for this thing to load. Such a long load time. It's not like my PC should struggle. Here we go. It's not like my PC should struggle, really. It's all gone quiet. They could have faded the music down, couldn't they? Any time today, game. Any time you like. It'll probably be dark now when we start. We won't be able to see the coach anyway. I've set the time at 5.52 a.m. Oh. It's gone black. Is that a sign? Are we going to get... A, a, oh. We've got noise. And we've got a coach. There we go. So there it is, the five, oh God, there's a lot of people, uh, the 519 uh, Comfort Class in the early hours of the morning. Um, yeah, looking rather, rather nice. Um, do really like this. It looks huge compared to the Type C parked over there. It's so long. Uh, one thing I haven't done that I must do is I haven't set a button for the wipers. Uh, Captain Chaos, thank you very much for the host. So let me just go to settings quickly for other professional. Uh, controls, um, do, 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 comfort class, um, mm, 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 mm. wiper faster, wiper, wiper faster, okay, add key, um, mm, 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 mm. what should we do for the wipers, probably not like those is it, okay, wiper faster, uh, wiper slower, add key, there we go, Accept back. Okay, so log this in while we're here anyway, as we need to. There we go. So we're going from Hamburg to Hanover. Then we've got to take a stop, then going to Castle, uh, then Würzburg, then take another stop, then going down to Constance. So a bit of a trek ahead of us. Um, we'll get ourselves on board. Oh, God, if I can find a door. We'll get ourselves on board. I do like that noise. Let me turn the game audio up a little tiny bit. There we go. Um, clamber on side. Yeah, if you didn't watch my YouTube video that went out yesterday, there are still a few glitches in this like that. It is a beta version still. Um, but yeah, this thing is so long. Look at it. That's huge. That's a long walk all the way down there. There's the middle exit door uh, and a long walk. So let's go and sit ourselves down. Reset track on. Right. Ignition on. So we've got the multimedia DLC working as well. And we'll start it up. Pop some lights on. We'll activate our destination display. Hopefully. Okay, we'll do that in the menu then. Uh, F or five. There we go. So this is this is where we get all the new buttons and things now. Um, so we've got reading lights, dimmed passenger lights. Uh, driver's light, you don't necessarily want on or off. Uh, night lights, turn those on. 230 volt clearance, definitely. Kitchen clearance, definitely. Restroom clearance, definitely. Reversing camera washing, okay. Uh, hostess clearance, that's new. Uh, Liam now hates football. Uh, slope brake on or off. Stop brake on or off. Wi Fi clearance, definitely want that on. Don't want to play the demo, uh, play the announcement just yet. Driver monitor, yes. And um, passenger monitor, yes. And there we go. And there we go. We've got a display on, on the front. Air conditioning we will turn on. And then uh, I can actually adjust it to mid-range, something like that. I don't know what that one is. So that's fan, that's temperature. So there's the buttons in there. Okay, I didn't spot that yesterday. That's quite cool. We can adjust the fan. You've also got these roof hatches as well. So you can adjust the roof hatch uh, in. And then the rear roof hatch in so if it's hot and you can adjust the back of them so they go out as well that's quite cool so yeah looking really really nice i do like the dash on this thing so what we'll do then we'll go outside sounds like a scania a little bit Open the luggage compartment. Right, I've got to try and remember now where all these passengers are going. So, uh, yeah, it's football, Liam. It means nothing to me. Hanover. Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think we're going to Hanover. Uh, what about you? 
Hello, my ticket. Wurzburg, yeah, I think we're going there. Uh, you? You want to buy a ticket? You not heard of online or anything? But no, okay, we can um, we can buy you a ticket. We'll don't buy you a ticket. We'll. I'm not going to buy the ticket for you. You're going to pay for the ticket. I'll supply you with the ticket. How's that? Yep, thanks a lot. You could have gone to the ticket office. You're quite short, aren't you? Uh, hopefully, we're going to end up there. Yeah, that's the, the general idea. Uh, <clears throat> who should we go for now? You? Hello. Sie wollen bestimmt mein Ticket sehen. Uh, Sehr freundlich. Yep, I think that was a lucky guess. Moin. Ich hoffe, ich bin Dresden. Richtig. We're not going to Dresden, are we? No. Mein Fehler. Yeah. <clears throat> what about you? Bin ich hier richtig? Hamburg. Braunschweig. I'm not going there either. Die haben mir echt das falsche Ticket gebucht. Uh, uh, Wurzburg. Yes, we're going there. You can get on. You want to buy a ticket, Hanover. Hanover. We are going to Hanover. Yeah, I'm just going to check that, though. Cool. Yep, cool indeed. That was quite lucky, really. What about you? Paderborn. I'm definitely not going there, because that's not near where we are. Uh, you? Wurzburg. Yep, yeah, well, you can get on. You. Castle. Yes, we are going. Yeah, it is valid. That's your phone. Yeah, hopefully that's valid. Castle, yes, we were going there. And you, you want to buy a ticket? Oh, sorry, a bit closer. Hanover. Hanover. Yep, you've not heard of online or anything? You've not got a smartphone? No? You've not just gone on the app? No? Okay, no. Well, no, no. Right, so that's there. We're we'll going to the wrong place. And everybody else is on board. Okay. Shut that down. Uh, oh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, and you, uh, welcome aboard this Sims and Stuff Travel Flixbus service going to, well, lots of places. Um, it doesn't say on the side of this coach that it's a bonus to arrive alive, because we haven't got it painted yet. Uh, but trust me, it will be. Um, those of you travelling all the way, I doubt you're going to make it in one piece. Um, uh, there is a next of kin card in front of you in a seat back pocket. But what are you looking at? Excuse me, don't go fiddling with your... F don't go fiddling with your phone when I'm trying to talk. How rude. Um... It's a next of kin card in the seat back pocket in front of you. Uh, if you can only fill it out with your next of kin's details, uh, we'll know who to contact then in the event of your untimely death um, somewhere along this journey. So yeah, that go, going to bus is a bit of a glitch. Uh, that'll be sorted out. So let's go and set ourselves back now. There we go. Reset track IR. Shut the front door. Turn on the headlights. I've done that. The headlights are on. Okay. Okay, well I've done the headlight thing. Got an L now. I'll make your mind up which button you want for the headlights. K or L? Oh, no. I want to get rid of that because that's going to stay up there all the time now, isn't it? Button 7. Okay. Well, I thought I'd map that one. Okay, there's definitely a glitch there somewhere, isn't there? Right, okay. Uh, so we've got to start, departure thing, start the ride. Uh, 5.54, 5.53, a minute early, that'll do. Okay. In gear. Loose and parking brake. Yeah, we'll accelerate in a second. Hello and herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack- und Getränkeangebot. Yeah, I don't really need to listen to it. I normally listen to this whole announcement thing during my YouTube videos and then do my intro bit after it, but I don't need to do that now, do I? Um, but we'll have to play that after every stop. So yeah, really liking this dash. It is quite nice. So yeah, there's five, I think five variants of this um, this coach coming on the 30th. Uh, hopefully, said TML when I uh, had some communication with them the other day. Um, they've got a lot of work to do to iron out some bugs that not only in this version, but in other versions. I haven't even got to access to the 517 yet. I'm um, hoping to be able to bring you that for this Friday's Firmbus video. We've got 
207 kilometers to go then for our first stop. Let's get in that lane. Yeah, the game itself now running a lot, a lot smoother. You're going to stop, yeah. So yeah, the coach looking really nice. Still got a bit of a vague steering problem with the game, but I think that's me and my setting. There's not anything to do with the coach at all. Um, but yeah, really, really liking this thing. Wasn't that keen on the Skyliner um, because of the fact that the double decker you had restricted uh, view. You couldn't look up like you could here. Um, so wasn't never that keen on the Skyliner. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. So we've got a few stops ahead of us, uh, four or five I think it was, uh, about a thousand kilometres in total. So we're going to Hanover. It does look quite dark out there, I think I did start a bit early. Ten past six, well, we should get lighter as we progress on. One of these strange junctions. I don't like the way that lane kicks in there from the left. That's really, really bizarre. Um, I need to be out there, though, don't I? Yeah, he just said we can finally set off, and we're, well, 30 kilometers out of town. Headlights are quite dim, but I think that's, um, again, could be a bit of a glitch. We got 185 kilometers to go to our first stop at Hanover. You can just about hear the, um, just split the lanes there, uh, just about hear the music in the background. Got to be careful. Um, TNL did say that it shouldn't be uh, music that could be picked up by um, uh, YouTube for copyright infringement, although they couldn't guarantee that. So I've got the level set quite low because I don't really want that. We've got to come off here and make our way to Hanover. Sure they're not the parking lights? Yeah, well, I put the headlights on and it came up with a warning saying turn the lights on. So if I put the lights on now, we get that warning. So I think there is a, an issue there. Um, so I'm going to have to leave them like this. It'll be daylight soon anyway. Oh God, that's a bit vague. But yeah, I don't think they're the main headlights. So I think it's a bit of a glitch with the coach. <coughs> Although I did have them on in yesterday's video. I uh, don't know if there's been an update since. But hey, yeah, it's going to get light, look. 6.23 in the morning. Time of year is set correctly, so another hour or so. And we should see uh, some sun coming up. And then by the time you finish this journey, it should be getting dark. I definitely don't like the way these lanes appear. That's pretty, really strange. I'm hoping to be driving in Germany next year. I hope they don't do that when I'm over there. So yeah, definitely getting a little bit lighter now. 158 kilometers to go. But yeah, it drives really nicely. It's quiet. I like the multimedia thing, but adding a little bit of... Um, background noise um, but if I was a passenger and there was whatever this sort of music is playing and it wasn't my style of music even if you just wanted to put your headphones on I don't think I'd be that impressed because you'd be listening to someone else's taste in music which is never good but you've got free Wi-Fi I suppose you can stick your noise cancelling headphones in and just download a few movies on their Wi-Fi. Live streaming from the coach. wonder what the upload speed is. Take a laptop. Sims and stuff on tour, literally. Live streaming from the back of the coach. Which is something that has been suggested, by the way, when we go to Gamescom in Germany next year. Um, live streaming or vlogging the journey. Yeah watch this space that could be uh, messy again for those of you not following the um, 
previous Twitch streams, uh, Sims and stuff on tour. Uh, we've currently been to three locations, Coventry, Wolverhampton and Telford. So working our way across the Midlands, um, where on each occasion we've live streamed. First one was live streaming from my phone in a hotel in Wolverhampton. The second one was live streaming from a designated room. No, first one was Coventry. Second one was Wolverhampton. And then the last one that we live streamed from a hotel bedroom. Uh, yeah, which was quite amusing. Um, but yeah, some alcohol was involved. So that is on the YouTube channel. Go and check that out. Um, next one, possibly, and I do mean possibly, in three weeks' time. So yeah, watch this space. And then another one coming up in February, and there'll be some others throughout the course of the year, leading up to going to Gamescom in Germany next August. Hopefully uh, a few people from the Google Plus uh, community. This is what it's been so far. The most we've had is four. But great fun. But anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Definitely getting lighter out there. Brilliant time of day. Yes, Blinky, very dim headlights. It's a bit of an issue with the coach. If I switch the headlights on, it comes up telling me to turn the headlights on. So we're having to go a bit, um, a bit side lights. If I can look at it from the outside. Uh, well, they look like they're on. They're just not doing much. Oh, God. But yeah, again, it is still in beta. Uh, release is due uh, in five days time so hopefully they get things sorted by then yeah this, the vague steering thing is uh, is a setting with me I think oh, I've got force feedback turned on I shouldn't really have that much vagueness in the steering just to keep this thing in a straight line but hey minor thing I've got used to it now with this game So yeah, I've started a bit earlier this evening as well, um, as we want to do um, do this for however long it takes. Uh, then I'll end the stream and then um, come back and do something else. Oh, okay, they need to hurry. Yes, that's exactly what TML said the other day. It was, it was They've got a lot of work to do by setting a hard uh, release date. This one's, it's nearly there, this coach, so I haven't driven the 517 yet. I don't even know what the difference is between the 519 and 517. I'm guessing it's meters, maybe? 19 meters and 17 meters? So the interior will probably look the same. And there's a couple of variants of each one. So at the moment, I've only got access to uh, this one. As I said, I'm hoping to bring you uh, the others next week. Or at least one other one on Friday's video. Which I can record on Thursday if they've got it ready by then. Definitely getting lighter now. That's looking really, really nice out there. And graphically, this game has got so much better and so much smoother. It was as glitchy as anything when it first came out, but now it's looking really, really nice. It's actually running at a rock solid 60 FPS for me. Well, in OBS anyway, I don't know actually what the game's running at. But my old gaming PC wouldn't run it, which is one of the reasons I had to upgrade so I could run this. A couple of little glitches occasionally. Very nice looking bus though. It is, you'll, I'll be able to show more of it when it gets daylight. Unless you watch the video, of course. Uh, where handily it was daylight when I recorded that. Or in the game. But yeah, great addition, which gives you, um, well, four different coaches now. Well, five, you include the 517 and 519. Um, so a bit more variety. Uh, next thing to come, I think, from TML is going to be more map Austria. Austria and Switzerland, I think, in one map. And then uh, France, I've heard, has been mentioned. So that's going to make the game a lot bigger. We've got 61 kilometers then for our first stop. So a bit of a long haul, this first one, then a couple of shorter ones, then a long one at the end. Um, should take us an hour or so, I think. So, thought it was quite nice to do uh, something a bit longer in the coach. Start in the dark, end in the dark. I 
Anything, Jack? So yeah, this thing, all right, leaving the normal coach stood standing. But yeah, it's quiet. So I'm liking the um, the multimedia DLC. That again is being released on the 30th as well. I think about three euros. Haven't really played around with the different types of music that you can do. I'm not sure if it's a full release version I've got in this yet. Um, so I need to do some more work on that um, to see if you can change the music types, etc. Had a quick fiddle around with it, couldn't work out how. Ah, the long coach today. Yes, the Comfort Class 519. It's very long. Be great if they did a long double decker version of this thing. So 38 kilometers then from Hanover, our first stop. And then a couple of short hops then um, before heading down to the south of the map. So almost um, north of the map to the south of the map, <laughs> just the way he likes it. <laughs> You're lucky, I need to introduce um, a face cam tonight. But where I was going to put it was down here where the sat nav is. So, uh, by articulated coach, yeah, that would be the way, wouldn't it? Uh, right, get over this lane then. Definitely getting lighter, that's quite nice. We can have a proper look at the coach then when we get to Hanover. So, if you are new to the streams and you haven't yet, have a look at the Google Plus community page. Uh, the Sims and stuff G Plus community is brilliant. Um, 258 people in there now I think <clears throat> all like-minded sim gaming fans lots of different uh, areas to post stuff post pictures of your setup gaming pics um, there's a music section in there there's a random section in there um, yeah do please check out the G Plus page be nice to get a few more people in there contributing oh, slightly off the road there with a the back wheel <clears throat> So I know all, the, all coaches nowadays are autos. Well, actually, I'd actually quite like a, a manual. Oh, I'm speeding. I'm in a hurry. Well, I'm trying to get you to your destination on time. So we're due to arrive at 8.19. It's uh, 7.28, so we should get there. So we need this outside lane, don't we? So a little bit of flickering on the screen. I don't know what that is. So yeah, outside view. Looking right, one me indicate it. <coughs> Looking rather, rather nice. And it's very, very, very long. At least now in this coach, yeah, I can actually look up and look at the traffic lights. It's even quite like a block of flats where you've got random lights on on a couple of floors. Uh, or the office block or whatever that is over there, the hotel or something, that's got all the lights on, that's quite nice. Yeah, I'm not sure what that flashing is, I think it's something to do with the traffic. So 60 mile an hour limit, to make sure we don't speed. I should have really stayed in that inside lane, so I'll get back over there. You even can see a lot of detail. I actually increased the detail distance um, so you can see a lot more detail further. I'm speeding again. Well, I could drive it slower, but then we get there late. Okay, I've got to turn left here, am I? You've been caught speeding. Yeah, 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 it's, it's all good. Yeah, it's quite nice to have a bit of music on in the in the background. It takes away from the uh, the silence or the drone of the engine. But really, really liking this dash. Oh, police! I was only speeding. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, so straight on again. 
lights let's go I think this has improved as well it used to be traffic light sim in this game but they've certainly improved the way the AI drives and the traffic light timing seems to be a lot better it actually looks quite good now it feels like a proper town with the right amount of traffic uh, maybe not for this time of the morning Depends on what day of the week it is. If it's set correctly, uh, at the early hours of a Saturday morning. But looking rather nice, for sure. So, the left turn up ahead then. Well, that's a hell of a towery thing. Oh, that's going to be a nice view from up there. Okay, it's a bit of a while that changed down. Right, so here we are, first stop oh, in Hanover. With more victims, I mean passengers waiting to get on. There we go, so we can open that. Side compartment, open the back door, open the front door. And uh, get ourselves off. Right, so you. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm going there, get on. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going there, get on. Hello, here, my ticket. Uh, nice your phone. But okay, there's a ticket technically on the phone, but okay. Uh, you, you want to buy a ticket? Uh, castle, okay. I'm oh, sorry, I walked away from the end, didn't I? That was a bit rude, wasn't it? Yep, get on. Uh, what about you? Castle, yes, you, I'm going. You've actually got a paper ticket. Blimey. You? Constance. I'm going, that's the last stop. You've got a long ride ahead of you. Uh, you. Hello? Hello. You. Fahren Sie in meine Richtung? Uh, Augsburg. No. Aber yeah. Bin ich hier uh, yeah. Dank. Where's he going? He's going to stand over there. That's not going to make any difference, Grüezi. is it? Bin ich hier Castle. Richtig. Yes, yes, Thank yes. You. You. Bonn. I'm definitely Hello. not going to Bonn. Oh no, exactly. You cannot read. <coughs> We're going to Castle. Uh, okay. And yeah, cool indeed. And so you go in the wrong place, you haven't got a clue, and then that's it. And then I'll just shut that one out here. Get back on board. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, those and you, and those of you that joined us here, uh, welcome aboard the Sims and stuff, fix bus service going to various places. Uh, you might die on the way, uh, so fill out the seat back pocket card thing, next of kin details, etc. Someone else will tell you. Right, let's sit down. Okay. So, shut that door, shut that door, open up the computer thing, click on start, right, so how are we doing on time? 8, 7, 47. Oh, no, I've got advanced time, then. okay. Otherwise, we'd leave too early. There we go, 8.20, now click on start, right, okay. Get rid of that, oh. Door is shutting. Okay. Uh, we're still in gear, that's useful. We're still indicating as well. That, that. I'm playing the announcement again. So, first stop done. Next stop, Castle, Cassell. 204 kilometers away. Okay, I'll slightly up the curb there with the back wheel. I forgot how long this thing is. So yeah, it's going to get lighter now, so we can have a proper look at the outside of this thing. Isn't that huge? That is such a long, long coach. But looking really, really well modelled as well. I do like it. Really like it. So we've got to take a break, haven't we? Uh, 
on the way to get a 9.52, we do a 15 minute break. Okay. Hopefully remember that. No guarantee, of course. But. Okay, you know what I was saying before, this game is no longer traffic light sim. Well. That was green. Yep, that one was definitely green. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. So with that. Okay. Yeah, wearing a seatbelt is advisory and compulsory. Don't need fuel. Hopefully not. Quite funny. Oh no, you're right. Okay. See, I, I can't see the point of fuel, personally, yet. We're going to go from the north to the south of the map, and we're not going to need to fill up. So I can't see the benefit in actually having the fuel stops on there, but okay. If you have just joined, welcome. This is the new and yet to be released um, Comfort Class Coach, coming out on the 30th for Fernbus. And rather nice it is too. One of several variants. For goodness sake, shut Fritz up. I can't. I've got to play him at the end of every or start of every journey. So you're going to hear him another three times, I think. That's why I'm trying to talk over him as well. So technically, I've still played the announcement. You would get pretty fed up with it, though, wouldn't you, as not only a coach driver, but if, like, the guy there going to Constance, you've got on this thing, you've got, like, four stops to go, and at every stop, you can stop him after two seconds to get credit. But now I know you're watching, Tux. I'm going to leave it just to annoy you, and next time I might not talk over it. Right, on the way out of Hanover then, 198 kilometres to go to Castle, Cassell, whatever it's pronounced. Sounds legit. Exactly. Oh, slightly speeding. That's what I got done for speeding on the way in, I think, wasn't it? It's going to be so easy. Oh, no, 60 now. Quite easy to speed in this thing because it's too quiet. So straight on then, that light was actually hit green. See, no running red lights anymore. Well, possibly. Obviously, if for a safety reason I can't stop in time, then I will accidentally run them, but most of the time I won't. Okay. So I think we've got three, oh, I was missing. So we've got Cassell, we've got a stop then. And Cassell, where's Vanlis? We've got three more stops to go. And yeah, this thing looking rather nice. Now the sun's coming up. Okay, is that a legitimate song then playing in the background? Am I gonna get server muted? Hopefully not. Because surely TML haven't paid people just to write songs or bought songs to put in the game. Fair play if they have. Right. Oh, it's my favourite time of the day when the sun's coming up. I love it. So right turn up here and 188 kilometers to go and at some point around nine o'clock or something was it we had to stop and we have to check the passengers back on which i'm still not keen on that idea surely if they've not bothered to get back on that's their own fault although i suppose nowadays you'd have to then take the bags off wouldn't you so it 
good thing I haven't got assigned seating on coaches. Well, he was a bit off the ground then, wasn't he? You see that? Oh my good god, right, join it. Feels like I'm playing Euro Truck. Ugh. Okay, there's a car behind me. It's okay, he stopped. Expecting to see a trailer behind me and not, not the back of a coach. Okay, it's about the overtake. Actually using my mirrors as well. Whatever next. So fuel? No, don't need any of that. So it's down this lane while we overtake them. I'm not going to be a middle lane hogger. Assign seating through the door. Line on the left. One cross each. There we go. Yeah, really, really liking the coach. I think the dash is a hell of an improvement. Uh, we haven't got the sat nav on the display. Whether I didn't turn the display on, I'm sure yesterday when I recorded this, the sat nav was on the display. So I think I've done something. I've turned the display off. We don't need it anyway. It's there on the thing. I must have pressed the button. Yeah, if you have started watching, this is the new Comfort Class coach uh, due for release on the 30th of this month, so next week. Uh, one of several variants of the Comfort Class. This is the 519. There's a 517 as well, and a couple of different versions of each coach. Boy, you have lots of buttons to press. There are lots of buttons there. And some of them be, were being covered up by the sat-nav thing, and I don't know how you move the sat-nav thing. So I was just pressing buttons and going for it. So 152 miles to go, miles, kilometres to go. We've got to stop at some point soon. So I'm hoping there's going to be a rest area coming up. Because otherwise the passengers will start complaining that their legs are going to fall off and stuff uh, along the way. I'm actually quite like now. It's slowing down going uphill. I like that. Haven't noticed that before. That I was flat out. Um, because it's quite a steep hill, it actually dropped my speed back. Hadn't noticed that on other coaches. Hmm. Interesting. What is that in the middle of the... Okay, not sure what that was in the middle of the road. So it said 9.15, I think, for the stop. Um, so sometime in the next 10 minutes, we should have... A rest area coming up where we'll pull in. I've got to turn the engine off and I've got to get off the coach. The passengers are the ones that need to stop. Yeah, I've got to get off. Or is it my rest? I don't know. It could be my rest stop then. Okay, is it up here or is this just a junction off? No, come out of the middle lane. It must be soon. But yeah, I like it. We're actually speeding at 101. I'll come out again. And I definitely don't like these junctions. I might have mentioned it once or twice. But yeah, really, really low. What's that down there? And the lights are speeding. No, no, it's just a rumour. The lights are definitely the lights are definitely on. But not that we need them now anyway. So 117 miles miles kilometers to go. I'll just cut across that lane, there you go. And we'll come into this inside lane. Because I'm thinking we've got to come off for a rest stop soon. Which is gonna be up here. It was 9.52 for a break, was it? Okay. I thought it was 9.15. Well spotted, that man. In that case, it'll be sometime in the next 40 minutes or so. And then we'll have the break, which we, I've got to get off the coach and I've got to count the passengers back on again. Which, no 9.52 break. Well, thank you very much. Um, yeah, on the Skyliner, I missed one before. 
it shouldn't be too bad on here you can just start at the front and work your way backwards unless they're a very small passenger it doesn't allow for the fact that they could be in the toilet you could have a stowaway the luggage compartments are so big you can fit a few people in there so yeah i'm going to stream this after this journey i will end the stream for a few minutes uh, and then restart up again and do something else but as yet don't know what that something else is going to be might get a few of the cronies involved uh, and do something multiplayer. Yeah, I'll go check my mirrors then. But we'll see. So we're about halfway through this journey. So it should be about say, another 45 minutes or so. What's the time now? Uh, so much more? Yeah. 8 o'clock ish. And then we'll carry on with another couple of hours and do something else. Oh god. Alright, a bit of a hill coming up. It'll be interesting now to see how this um, thing copes up the hills. I think although it's limited to 100, do you think it'd have enough power um, to be able to maintain that speed limit? Not up like Everest or something, but up a reasonable incline. Should drop down. So you're saying in 20 minutes time then we should be taking that break. So I'll come out in this lane. Again, definitely strange junctions. So I'm going to mention it every single time. So, Castle Cassell straight on is our next stop, 68 kilometers away. I'm speeding. Uh, I don't think we're being pursued by the police. I'd like to think not. It's an 80, the, the road didn't change just because it's a bridge, it dropped down to 80. That's just madness. Why are you... Okay, I'm going to have to undertake you now. Why are you stopping all the way out there? Ooh. Okay. That's much vagueness of the steering. Right. So there should be a service area coming up at some point. Well, between now and the next 54 kilometres, one would hope. If you have just joined, yep, this is the new Comfort Class coach uh, to be released on the 30th of this month for Fernbus. It's a paid DLC, one of several variants of the uh, 517 and 519 coach. And uh, yeah, first impressions for me, I really, really like it. It's very long. Bit of a glitch there. Right, we've got 44 kilometres to go. <laughs> yes, Tux, it is. Oh no, everyone disappeared. I'm just repeating myself, Tux, because the new people join and watch, so I'm just making them informed that this is what I'm driving, although the title does say that. I won't mention, mention the Google Plus page, though, Tux. Right, 35 kilometres to go. Hoping there is going to be a rest area. Although I doubt it now. You just did. Damn it. Or so will Nightbot in a minute. Definitely tell the time of year is right can't you because it's not exactly summery sky out there it's definitely got a bit of a winter's day about it i'm speeding but like you might not be okay well i've never had no opportunity in that journey to take a break so 
so how am I supposed to take a break when it's not giving me a place to do so? Okay. Graphically, this game is looking so, so nice now. Bit of a lighting glitch going on there, but I think again that's the coach. Hopefully not the game. Gotta use that length going around that corner. Right, left turn up ahead. Someone's just used a toilet. Can they wait? They're gonna be there in a minute, surely. Yeah, the force feedback is very iffy, if that's the word. So the coach looking rather, rather nice now, uh, out in the sunshine. I think vague is the word that I would rather use uh, tux for the force feedback. It's just like it's not on. Hello. Right, come on in. Let's be having some, uh, some green lights. There we go. So yeah, no opportunity to stop there. We're supposed to take a break. So any minute now, I can imagine the passengers starting to complain that the legs are about to fall off. Oh, green light. For the win. Yeah, 10k to go. Here's a bus stop that makes me does point towards that makes me does bus good English. Those mirrors sticking out the front make it look like karate kid getting ready for the crane kick. Yeah, it's a bit like that. Um, yeah, it does make me think that this map, or the assets in this map, are going to be used for the new um, bus sim game coming next year from TML, because they've got bus stops in place already. Still waiting for them to implement the fact that the um, passengers will uh, walk onto the coach, that is something that will be coming. So when you check them in, they'll walk to the door, walk on and sit down. So that's good, but I think the first they're working on content, coaches and a map to come. I'm not sure on the release of the map. Uh, I doubt it'll be this side of Christmas, so I should imagine early next year before we'll get to Austria and Switzerland. And might have a little bit of a wait then for France. But more map equals uh, more driving, equals more playability. But imagine how good this game would be with multiplayer if someone did something similar to um, uh, Truckers MP. So you'd be able to see other coaches. That'd be pretty cool. Should I? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to stop. For a split second there, I wasn't going to stop at that. I did send you a text earlier on, Mr. B. I don't know if you're anywhere near your phone. So yeah, liking this, liking this a lot. I haven't really looked at the um, driver's windows and stuff like that, and the blinds that there is somewhere. Perhaps we'll play around with those when we stop at one of the uh, one of the stops at some point. So we're due to arrive at 11.19, it's currently 10.14 and we're two kilometres away because we should have stopped. I was having a snooze at that point. Oh, fair play. Still there, okay. 
though I actually it needed the password for me the other day when I tried to get in there. Then um, it was tried earlier and wasn't there at all. Uh, okay, so which lane do I need to be in this one? Down? A lot of people stood down there, so I'm guessing it's that one. Well, there we go. We've arrived nearly an, well, actually an hour early. Right, open the doors. Let everybody off. Okay. Oh my God, there's a lot of people here. Right, see? Now, can you, if you got off, can you go away? Maybe? Okay, let's try you. Comms stats. Yeah, we're going there. Okay. Yep, yeah, comms there. Still there, no password. Okay. It must have been me. I'll have Hello. a look. Uh, you're going to Würzburg. Am I going to Würzburg? Am I going to Würzburg? Oh my god! Bitte? Können Sie das noch mal prüfen? Hello? Hier ist mein Ticket. Danke. Yes. So I'm going to Würzburg. That's good. I forgot. Tag. Fahren Sie in meine yeah. Richtung? What, what, yeah. Okay. Moin. Kann ich bei Ihnen ein Ticket kaufen? Uh, you can have one of those. Constance. Yeah. No, I'll do it. I'll use my data connection and everything. Okay. That's fine. On my battery on my phone. You just you get out of the way now. So we we'll get to the guy Salut. behind you. Uh, Salute. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you're stood there. Yeah. It turns Vielen out I am actually going there now. Okay. Mahlzeit. Könnte ich bitte ein Ticket bei Ihnen kaufen? Uh, yeah. Why can't we go somewhere beginning with A? Dankeschön. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. About you. Hello. Here. My ticket. Uh, I should phone, but okay. Uh, but if those people got off the coach, why would you get off a coach and just stand around? Nope, I've got off the coach, but I'm going to linger around by it. Constance, yeah, okay, and then you, and here. Sorry, I've crept up behind you. Okay, so the rest of you lot, go away. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, you welcome aboard this uh, Sims and Stuff Flixbus service going to Constance and Würzburg now, it seems. Um, uh, yes, in the seat back pocket in front of you, you'll find the next of kin card. Um, please fill out the details. In the event of your untimely death between here and Constance, uh, we'll know who to contact to pick up the bits of you that might be left. If you can also leave your bank card details and your PIN number, um, that'd be great as well. Thanks very much. So, set ourselves back down, shut that door, shut that door. Okay, so we missed the stop, didn't we? So we need to advance time to a minute before departure, which is now uh, 11.20. So we missed that stop, so they're going to moan about that. So we've got Würzburg, then another stop. So click start ride again. I can't take a break. Oh, can I take a break here? No, I'll do that. Uh, okay, it's ring gear, talking break off. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass And play the announcement seid, again. Wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen. Oh, look, hang on, that's the wow, that's a blast in the past. That's the the first skin. Uh, there we go, a bonus to arrive alive. Um, that's the first skin that was done, uh, I think, by Mr. McBee that's watching um, for Fernbus. Oh. It does say it's a bonus to arrive alive. And it also shows how long this flipping coach is. Oh, he's still speaking. Anyway, right, let's get going. So, two more stops to go. Würzburg and Konstanz. So yeah, really liking the coach. Definitely a great addition to the game. Und viel 
I think Tux just hates Germans, says Larwood. I'm making no comment there. I think he just hates the announcement. Wiggly way out of town. Quite like Germans, to be honest. Spent a lot of time in Cologne and Bonn. Just wish Fritch would shorten his shaggy dog tail. Yeah, the fact you get the long journey, long bit of it, and then you get it again in English. It was a request that went in when we were beta testing the um, the streamliner that why can't you just set your language to whatever your language is and it would only play the English or German version apparently it's all in one file you can also use it to share your suggestions ideas and requests we are always ready to assist and now we can finally set off thank you should get him to do a bespoke version welcome to Sims and Stuff Travel and enjoy traveling with Flixbus Okay, we're now playing music that definitely isn't in my musical genre. Am I indicating? Yep, I was definitely indicating all the time there. Come on, man. Suppose it is set in Germany, so it's only fair. Well, yeah, that's exactly. Then they wouldn't have the English version, would they? You wouldn't go on a German coach and get the English version. Well, in OMSI, in some of the German routes, you get the announcer in German, and then occasionally when they're announcing something that's a bit of a tourist hub, you get the announcer in English. Oh, God, that might have been the curb slightly. Oh, we made it. Don't get dumb for speeding. Am I on the curb? Yeah, it's a um, okay. Slightly, <clears throat> slightly on the curb there. Come on, in, Mr. Audi. Just imagine you're on a holodeck and it's going through the universal translator. Exactly. And no, you don't have Amazon Prime. Okay. Maple fish. <laughs> That's a sharp turn down here, isn't it? What's going on here? You need to take a break. Uh, I will, if given the ability. Come on, Mondeo driver. High flex cable systems. Okay. Who do you work for? I work for high flex cable systems. Why would you even think that? At least put cables are us or something, or cable store. Medways. JJ Abrams. Well, that was a bit of a trekkie. You need to take a break. Yeah, I will when I can. I can't just pull up there. Why is the name in English? Well, again, that's one of the glitches with this, I suppose. Why well, haven't PC games gone into proper advertising? Slightly squished Mondeo. But yeah, this game's looking properly. Hello! Uh, properly nice now. Uh, runs so, so smooth. Don't like the red dot. I'm guessing that's where the uh, 
manufacturer's logo will go when they get the manufacturer approval. Oh, that's what we were going then, I got all excited. Someone to do race room and sold it, sold to K&W. Okay. That's quite a nice type of It does help fund the um, the game or the platform. It'd be quite good in racing games to see proper uh, adverts on the side of the track. That'd be quite good. I should get sponsorship. This stream brought to you by Babelfish. See, GSW Fabrication. See, that's you'd expect that. That's that's fine. That's it. Sit. No, there hasn't just been a rest area. Have you not been looking out the window? Have you seen a rest area? No, is the answer to that question. You have not. <gasps> okay, yeah, that was nearly the same. Uh, this Mondeo driver is going to be panicking all the way to where he's going. Like, I want to get away from that coach. Every time I stop, <laughs> I end up with the badge of the coach imprinted on the back of my Mondeo bumper. That's because you need to take a break. It is. I need to take a quick lit, literally. Yeah, I don't know when the next rest place is coming. I'm not from round here. I'm just following my Pratt now. Why isn't the sat nav talking to me? That would be the next thing I'd implement. At the end of the road, turn left. Because it would. Because you, you know, you'd have the voice, wouldn't you? But have a look at the map. Uh, hello, isn't it, Mike? Is that the same coach? He's got your hat in front of me. As long as it isn't Fritz doing the voice. Yeah, exactly. It, yeah, we're going to make a... When I'm able to take a break, I will take a break. I can't just stop on the hard shoulder. I could, but then it, the game won't let me take a break on the hard shoulder. Slightly vague steering. I can contact TML and get... If they can get the guy to record something for me. Slightly cheeky. Right, 199 kilometres to go. Yeah, I, again, if you not just heard everybody else, well, that's a bit sway. Uh, yeah, when I can take a break, I will take a break. I can't take a break before I can take a break. That makes sense. Because it does say, look, it's a bonus to arrive alive <laughs> on that coach there. Right, we've got roadworks coming up. Oh, we indicated. Well, that's something. Where are you going? What if the AI is mirroring my driving style? It'd be about right, really, wouldn't it? Uh, no. Oh, God, why are we going so slow? Are you breaking down? Is there issues? Wow, he's going slow. Why are you doing... The okay, it's not that much of a hill, surely. I'm going for the overtake. He's stopping to take a break. <laughs> He is quite literally stopping to take a break. Okay. We'll just leave him back there then. There we go. Yeah, I need to take a break. Okay. Yeah, I think we established, um, just in case uh, you're, you're wondering, uh, that I need to take a break. Wow, that's a hill. Okay, we might need oxygen masks at the top of this one then. Well, yep. Hopefully we'll take a break soon so you can vomit when we get off the coach. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yes, Tux, it is. When I can, I will. I just don't know how long we've got. No, my luck, we'll be at the next stop. So there's a bit of a glitch in the game there. Uh, okay, that's a... a that, wow. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want brake failure coming down there. Wowzers, that's a hill. And why is it... Okay, it's not letting me go more than 80. That's quite clever. Right. Got 84 a second ago. Well, it does 100 on the flat. You'd like to smoke a cigarette. Don't do it, it's bad for you. There you go, simple. I'm thinking of your health and general well being. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dio Cousin, thank you very much for the follow. Okay, I'm going to have to go for the hard shoulder undertake. No, it's not about to flip over. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, that's. Uh, don't do it like that, kids. Right. Uh, no, I haven't watched it too often, actually. I think I've seen it twice. Coupon theme, yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> Don't you start, Larwood. Um, when I'm able to stop and take a break, I will stop and take a break. But surely if... Hmm. Could I take? I don't. I don't know if I can take a break at the the actual place where I put passengers on. I've never tried that because at this rate we're going to be there, speeding twice in a minute. Yeah, those big cameras are too close to each other. That's poor design. Write and complain. Think I need to take a break. I'm not sure. Might be a good idea. So 128 kilometers to go. At some point between now and then, we may take a break and have a Kit Kat. Do 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 do. Why aren't we making a break? Uh, because we can't. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. Other chocolate bars are available. Indeed. Have a break, have a Snickers. It doesn't, doesn't quite got the same ring to it, has it? Have a break, have a Milky Way. And we won't talk about a finger of fudge. Um, so yeah, I can't see there being another rest area between here and our destination. Have a break, have a curly whirly, doesn't have the same ring, no. Well, again, surely. No, no, I'm. How much did I get for murdering passengers? Think if I just drove off, if I drove towards a cliff. And then leapt out. I think anyone would notice. Also, you can't take a break. Most chocolate bars use this. Hey, also, you can't break most chocolate bars unless you freeze them first. Uh, yeah, a bar of chocolate you could. Like a Cadbury's dairy milk thing. They've they got a bit of snap to them. They need to be a little bit cold. I do like putting a bit of dairy milk in the fridge, that is quite nice. Machen wir auch mal Pause? 
Uh, yep, exactly. Oh, fake steering for the win. Very vague steering for the win. Yeah, I can't see us having a serviced area. <laughs> funny, McBee, very funny. I could have looked at the map, I suppose, couldn't I, and seen when the serviced area was. Nope. Unless you've spotted something I haven't, I have not seen a service area. Oh, although there is one down here. Ha ha ha. Okay, I think we're about to take a break. Could be wrong. Come on, someone complain. Go on. Go on, I dare you. Are we nearly there? Yeah. When is the next rest place coming? It's here. That's fuel that we don't need because we've still got three cores for tank. Hang on, where's the... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, wrong button. Where's the... Hang on, this is fuel. Where can I... There's nowhere for me to rest. The icon said fuel, the sign on the side of the road said fuel and parking. And there was no blue circle thing I could park in to rest. I'm going to have to try it. Uh, you might just check them out for a rest area. Yeah, I suppose. But you wouldn't take a detour to go to a rest area just to rest, would you? Yeah, there isn't going to be another one now. Any well, vague steering. It is quite hard to drive straight when the steering wheel is doing that when you go in a straight line. It's quite difficult, really. I'd be taking this thing in for a service. You should have stopped and rested there, Steve. You can't. There isn't a place to rest. <laughs> Walk up and down the coach, Lawa. You'll be fine. Walk up and down the little steps to the toilet. Be right. Where's one of those compression socks things? <laughs> I can feel DVD saying. We've only been going. What time did we start? Five fifty-two. If you've been on the big from the beginning, we've only been going with uh, six, six, seven, eight hours. Yeah, it's been a long trip actually. I think as, as a driver, I'd be. When are we finally going to make a rest? Uh, I'll try it when we check the passengers in. I wonder if it'll let me do that. Because we've only got 41 kilometres to go to Würzburg. Which sounds like a West Country... Um, I was thinking of the words. I couldn't think of the words. Oh, we've got to go... In here. So I definitely like the way this sat nav zooms in and zooms out. I wish Euro Truck did that. Okay, roadworks. Why are you telling me there's roadworks on the bridge? I'm not going that way. You'd like to go outside. Well, there's a number of options there. I could open that little door and you can jump. That would do the job. Or you can just wait and be quiet like everybody else. Well, not like everybody else. Some people are whinging about, I need to take a break. 
we'll take a break. We're due to arrive in Wurzburg in 26 kilometers. If you're feeling that bad, um, you could get off. It's quite simple. I'm not forcing it to stay on the here, anyway. Uh, I'm not forcing it to stay on the coach. Uh, you can leave for the next town. Uh, it's coming at Wurzburg. Yep, you can get off there. Indicating changing lane, then checking the mirror. Steve drives like a West Australian. <laughs> yeah, it, it, well, the combination was correct. Oh. God, reminds me of the um, Eric Morecambe sketch, wasn't it? With old um, Yehudi Menuhin. He's playing all the right notes, just not necessarily in the right order. I was doing all the right things, just not necessarily in the order that's safe. Could we make a rest? Yep. We will be doing that. At some point. Oh, you should have stopped there, Mr. Laurie. Like I should have done. Right. Wurzburg, 15 minutes. Yeah. Well, on a plus, definitely liking the coach. Uh, is looking really, really nice. Um, yeah. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to go to the coach. Yeah, I need to take a break. I'll do that. Come on then, go, go, go. Uh, excuse me, that lorry just, <laughs> lorry just knocked the light over. That's just... Okay, I didn't... I was nowhere near it when it fell over. Nothing to do with me. Could you not just click take a break right there? Well, no, so I've got to get off the coach and turn the engine off. I'll try it when I um, stop up here. Says me. I was nowhere near it at the time it became dislodged from the ground. It was nothing to do with me, officer. Honestly, I need. So machen wir eigentlich keine Pause. Well, A, you've spelled break wrong there in that context, but you no, know, we will do that. Right, six kilometers to go. Quite interesting, it's still showing green light after it was knocked down. Uh, obviously some sort of battery pack in there then, isn't there? Don't run up the curb. Vacant steering. Uh, no traffic lights here, so I'm just going to YOLO it. Yeah, yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, we're now approaching Wurzburg. Wurzburg is our next station stop. Please light here for Wurzburg. They think of everything these Germans. Well, exactly. The master. Oh, I can't say that, can you? Oh. Okay, I, I put the parking brake on when I was about to pull away. That's not good, is it? That's the curb. Slightly the curb. Well, we're going to try and take a break here. I'm not sure if it's going to work. We'll give it a go. Why don't we take a break there? Uh, take a break. It tells me open driver needs to ask the vehicle. So, engine is required to start. Doors required to be open. Okay, so let's. Open the doors, open the luggage compartment on here as well. So let's get off. And now take a break. Oh, which it has let me do. That's interesting. 
check the passengers inside the coach. Okay. okay where are you going? Oh god. I can't get away to the door, that's quite glitchy. Well that's very glitchy. So I've got Jean Martin. Okay, that's slightly glitchy now. Uh Sammy Merck. He's there. Wow, this is hard to control. Oh god, sorry, he shot past you then. Cousy <laughs> Cousy Faust. Interesting name. Teresa Wirtz. Okay, you're there. You're up quite upright aren't you uh yeah wow this is hard to control Theda kessler florentine petzold yeah seven uh alma stenzel uh, adam ruppert and you looking there okay so now if i go checked okay Taking a break has made it quite laggy. Steve is obviously a slow waker. Okay. So now I've got to check in more passengers. You buy a ticket to Constance. He did say waker. Yeah, I, I was. I had to look at that twice. Okay. Not a problem. Hi, das Ticket. Bitte schön. Yep, you're Auf going to Constance. Geht's. Okay. Oh, uh, not a problem. Yeah, I can understand. That's not a problem at all. I'll sell you a ticket. Dank. There we go. That's no worries. Why are you still over here? Grüezi. Ich benötige noch ein Ticket Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Augsburg, not Ach, going there. Echt? Why are you still all the way down here? You're Moin. Not, ich hoffe, ich bin hier richtig. Ciao. not heard of forming Ciao. a queue. Ich würde gerne ein Ticket kaufen. Uh, Constance. Okay. He needs a ticket to ride. Yeah. You're not going to the Isle of Wight. Uh, you're going to Constance? Yep. Uh, got some more around here, haven't we? Why can't you all just stand in a line? I've just gone walking around the whole of the town looking for you. Servus, das Ticket. Bitte schön. Germans don't do queues. It's quite funny, actually. Well, they just Hello. go. Ich hoffe, ich bin hier uh, Auf geht's. Yeah. Okay, so everybody's on. Right. Let's go and shut this thing back down. Go. Uh, 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 that's got a long way up there, isn't it? I can't get up the steps. I'm stuck. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Sims and Stuff Flix bus service going to uh, well, our final destination, uh, Constance. Hope it doesn't end up like the films. Um, in the seat back pocket in front of you, you'll find the next of kin card. If you kindly fill out your details on that said card, uh, we will know who to contact in the event of your untimely and hopefully um, not too gruesome death between here and Constance. Um, thank you for travelling with Sims and Stuff Travel. My name is Hans. Um, right. Oh, right. Looks like it's a good drink. Okay. So, set ourselves back down. Shut that door, shut that door, set the gear into neutral. Okay, I can't stop. Okay, don't do it, don't do what? Well, don't set the um, time to hit before departure. I've got to do that, otherwise it'll be late. Start right. Set the gear into neutral. I don't want to get to neutral, I've got to pull off. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, the engine wasn't running. You mean this bit, Tux? Turn it up a bit for you if you want. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack und Getränkeangebot. 
No, a bit much. <laughs> right then, the final bit of the uh, of the journey down to Constance. Three hundred flipping X. Three hundred and fifty nine. Uh, get your three hundred flip it. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, if it was a yeah, you would. I want to try and get a bit of that from TML and set it as a ringtone if Tux ever rings me. Okay, so we've got 355 kilometers to go. Uh, yeah, the, the final long leg then down to Constance. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. We're glad to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share... Just in case you couldn't hear it, that's all. The wearing of seatbelts is compulsory on board the bus. Therefore, please keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the entire journey. So we got a four hour journey ahead of us and we don't need to take another break. Interesting. What a rocking in here. The, the coaches are rocking. Don't come a knocking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that was with a discounts. For more information, simply visit flixbus.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. Exactly. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas, and requests. We are always ready to assist. And now we can finally set off. There we go. You won't be hearing that announcement anymore unless I do that. And I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Concentrate on staying on the road, not pressing the button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was trying to play the announcement to annoy Tugs. Um, okay, let's go around here. Right, so 330 kilometers to go to our final destination. I will be ending the stream. Um, and then uh, taking a sort of five minute break and then restarting again in something else. Purely so then I can put this stream out as Friday's Fern Bus video. Um, hashtag lazy. So, at least the weather's uh, looking like a rather nice, crisp November day. Isn't that looking great? Oh, God, it's got to get the steering sorted out. I might actually have to try and do that. It's just so, it's just nothing. It, there's no, I could probably just spin the wheel all the way around that it would work. There is no force feedback whatsoever for me in the G27. Now, see, that sounds like a bit of a news jingle thing going on there. It would be brilliant if in the game they um, had that time so that every hour that came on the radio. Is that the announcer in Italian? That's epic if that's in Italian. We're going to have to get the audio of that. And I can play that in the stream. Or on the video. I can then have it in German, English and then Italian. That would be brilliant. 
Right, if anyone's got the ability, someone get the audio from that. Um, oh, the real life one. Okay. Right, this is the final bit of the journey then, in this lovely comfort class coach. Uh, if you have just joined, it is out on the 30th of this month, this month, this month, um, and it's uh, it's brilliant. It is really, really good. It's not the whole thing on Fortune, but that's no good, Lyle. What is it? I'll contact TML. See if he can send me uh, any way of sending me every version. That's Larwood. Larwood can find anything. Right. Oh, t typically, that now I don't need to take a break. Here's places to take a break. <laughs> I heard tell of this incredible mention called the Googles. <laughs> we love you, Larwood. Right, so the question is then, when we do get down to um, Constance, which is 280 kilometres away, um, you can get bream for that. Why would you want to get a fish? Oh, okay. Um, is then, what game do I play? What do I do after this? That's the question. What's the time now? Uh, 10 to 8. It's probably going to be around 8.30. Redo really something else, shouldn't I? For an hour, maybe. Anything that doesn't have Fritz in it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know. I'll have a look at my. Um, I'll have a look at my games. Sim Airport. I actually found out just before this stream how to finally get a plane to land. Well, I didn't actually see one land. Uh, but how you actually get planes to land in Sim Airport, which I'd never worked out up to that point. So I do really want to do a video on that. But that's something that there's, when you get drawn in, I think it's not going to be an hour long game, is it? You could multitask and do Aeroflight FS2. I haven't set up my controls. Uh, I turned it on earlier. But haven't got the um, the controllers plugged in. Or what if my little switch box things would work with it? That work with uh, Flight Sim and FSW? Because I've only used them once. That was 160 quid well spent. Uh, right. Ah, the steering's so vague. Yeah, I'm slightly speeding. No, I don't think I'll fall asleep on the gas pedal. Yeah, I'm going to do Aerofly tomorrow. Record something in it. You just keep turning the wheel to the right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get there. Wow, that car looked like it was floating then. Alright, so straight on here. Definitely liking the way it slows down going up the hills. Really like that. And it didn't like... This game is just looking so good. I've got used to the multimedia thing going on in the background now as well with the multimedia DLC. Shame you didn't have the ability to stream real life radio. We might be able to, I haven't really looked at it that fully. And that's out on the 30th as well. Yeah, definitely spending a lot of journey. Been called speeding again. How many times can I get done speeding in one journey? I'm definitely doing a lot of journeys in this coach. Oh, it's one of these strange junctions again. I just never know what lane I should be in. Should I stay in the outside lane and come across the middle lane, or should I be in the middle lane and come across to this lane? But now I'm undertaking. I shouldn't be doing that. But now I've got to go back out in this lane now, so I need to come behind it. Okay, we're 
still got 217 kilometers to go. Definitely a bit of a long final leg. But we get to see this map in all its glory and doesn't that look good? So 20 to 4 in the afternoon, we're due to arrive at 7 o'clock, so it will be dark by the time we arrive, so we'll be back to the uh, non-functioning headlights by the time we arrive in Constance. Fuel it is going down, but not, I think they're doing a sort of 1,000 kilometres, or it depends on what it holds. I should imagine it holds a fair bit of fuel to cut across this lane. I don't know what the MPG of these things are. I was doing probably what 10 to the gallon, maybe? Possibly. Of course, it's in litres, isn't it? There's so many kilometres per 100 litres or something, or whatever it is in, uh, in Germany. Wow, that was close. Well, at least the mirrors work. Litres per hundred kilometres. There you go. I know there's something like that. There's a hundred in there somewhere and a litre in there somewhere. Definitely vagueness for the win. Doesn't that look good? You never, you're not getting you never back to that sailing thing. Yeah, someone actually commented on the uh, Sail Away video today. Uh, it's actually quite a lot of views, um, but it's just I don't know. There was something I like the the idea of it, but I don't know. There were more people chatting in a in a stream. That then you could just sail and I'm done with it then yeah I can see the benefit of it or for shorter crossings yeah, I can see the benefit of it but there's only I think they've only brought out one more um, craft boat ship thing and that's they brought out a catamaran I think I'm not sure if it's still an, an online thing where it's become more popular I haven't heard any more from them about it I haven't had any updates from them It was a tad slow. Yeah, if there was motor craft or motor launches and stuff in there that would actually get a decent turn of speed, then yeah, I could see the benefit of it. Because I did like the idea of being able to set a waypoint from one place to another place. But, you know, to cross the channel, it took us what? We did it on a stream, didn't we? It took us what, two hours? like 11 knots or whatever it was, 7 knots. But yeah, thanks for the suggestion, Larwood, but um, yeah, tad slow. I did fire up Train Sim before this stream uh, to see how it ran, uh, Train Sim World. But disappointed by the audio. It was in a DMU and it just it's just no noise. I like to hear an engine. So I don't know, might do another stream after this, might, might do another game after this, may not, we'll see. It'll be over two hours by the time we finish this. Hundred and forty four kilometers to go. Getting dark now, good thing I left my lights on. Definitely have to keep thinking as to am I driving Euro truck when I'm in this. Wow, he was a bit okay. He he lost it. <laughs> that was quite good. 
I like that. Well, not the fact that he crashed, obviously, but the fact that it did crash. They actually lost control, and that was the AI. Yeah, it was almost impressive. Struggle up the hill, 128k to go. Hopping train to 17 and drive a HST, that's got a good noise to it. Mm. It has. That's why I'm disappointed with um, Train Sim World. Different in the CSX Heavy Core, well, that sounded really good. I've got the wheels set up. Trying to see something um, automotive. I did say that Euro Truck was the go to game, but then someone made a comment earlier that, oh, I'm not trucking again. <laughs> I don't get bored with Euro Truck at all. Class 43 for the win. Oh, yes, now you're talking tucks. I don't do enough train sim to warrant spending the money on um, locos. Can't have too much Euro truck, yeah. Not possible. I could, yeah. I actually drove the Renault Premium for tomorrow uh, earlier because I didn't have the garage where we're starting. And I could have quite easily done another hour or more in Euro truck. I just carried on past where we we're going to start. I don't get bored with that game at all. And all that time I spent not doing multiplayer. Yeah, I love multiplayer. My commiserations were well, for driving the premium. It wasn't bad. I actually reconfigured um, the Mercedes we used the other day. Um, and put a decent um, paint job and stuff on it, but kept the same engine. And it was, it was really nice. And I actually tried today driving American truck with an 18 speed as well. That was interesting. Couldn't get used to that at all. Putting 55 ton in America with an 18 speed, I couldn't get used to the gearbox. I went Eaton Fuller and that confused the heck out of me, so I had to go back to a standard uh, 18 speed. But anyway, we're not doing trucking, we're doing uh, firm bus. So I don't know, Fly is definitely coming back to the channel this week. Got that Aerofly FS2 to do. That's going to come back uh, on uh, either Wednesday or Thursday. Um, OMSI on Monday, which I've yet to record. Got to do that tomorrow. And then um, more firm bus. Well, this firm bus probably next Friday. Trains? Mm, not sure. But plenty of trucking. Two streams a week. And a couple of evenings a week that I spend in Euro Truck as well. Normally a, a Monday and Tuesday night spending Euro Truck. Right, 74 kilometers to go into the roadworks. Slightly speeding we go, but slow down for the Wow. Yeah, I think all the passengers would now be at the front of the coach if that would have happened in real life. I was driving the 47 earlier, that sounds like an old camper van. Yeah, oops indeed. We were on about um, a Seto Corsa earlier. Uh, which is why I thought the server was down, so I couldn't find... Well, no, Noz couldn't find it. I went on it yesterday and it said it needed the password. Um, that we're then talking about old minis and stuff. That sort of thing would be really good. Hello. Do you use a single monitor setup? Uh, no, currently down... I normally have a four monitor setup. Uh, currently down to three. The game, though, is only running on a single monitor.
Tiny3690. Thanks very much for the follow. Yeah, there is a recent uh, setup video on the channel, on the YouTube channel, showing my setup, which I think it was still at three monitors then. Almost as many monitors as he has buttons. Oh no. I nearly did buy the um, the flight sim, not flight sim, the farm sim controller thing the other day because that was in the Amazon sale, but had no use for the wheel and the pedals. Yeah, there are a number of buttons. Uh, have you driven the 56 load with the tap throttle? Or are you talking trains now? Oh god, that's yeah, that's a dip there. I have three monitors set up. Uh, I use Fernbus, doesn't work with it. Yeah, I got Fernbus just running on a single monitor, so I need the other two for OBS and chat and stuff. Oh god, wrong lane. You're speeding. A bit fast. Okay, so a bit faster than 100 kilometers now. We'll hit the sound barrier. Mm, hitting the sound barrier in a coach. Let me think about that for a minute. Don't think so. Are you talking to me, Tiny, or are you talking to Larwood and Tugs? Getting information on the uh, on the fifty six. Oh, nice bit of lakeage going on up there. Looking rather nice. Oh god, that's a lane. Yeah, so she's slightly out on the... Uh, otherwise you'd have Intercity 125s hitting, hitting the speed of sound between Swindon and London. <laughs> right, 20 kilometres to go then. Of our trek, we can get around this corner with the vague steering. We started in the dark, we're going to end in the dark. And a lot of daylight in between, and a lot of miles in between. <laughs> yeah, this is very true. And the end is definitely in sight. Doesn't this game look really, really good? You've got to admit. It does look epic. It was so bad. So, so bad when it first came out. Um, it wouldn't run. It was as glitchy as anything. And now look at it. That looks properly, properly nice. And that's a properly long coach with a stupid... Those, in, those mirrors are way out the front, aren't they? They've got to be a good metre or more away from the front of the windscreen. That's ridiculous. Uh, I have a three monitor that I use for Euro Truck and ATS. The only game that doesn't work is firm, but I'm not sure if you go back to one or keep three. Yeah, well, I had an argument with a certain Mr. Araya. Um, what discussion? Um, that I'd love to get Euro Truck running on three monitors um, and use Track IR, but he then said, what's the point of that? But yeah, I haven't worked out how to do it yet. But I'm quite happy with it in one. I will at some point get my fourth monitor back in, but I also found another one under my bed the other day. Um, so in technically I could have five monitors set up and I think that's a bit much. mirrors look a bit like long floppy dog ears. <laughs> They're not floppy. If they were floppy, they'd be coming down and hitting the windscreen, wouldn't they? Right, so 
straight on here and then left up here. Euro truck is amazing on three. We'll never get a tiny uh, trucking stream coming up tomorrow night um, where we're continuing our journey around Europe um, in multiplayer. So we do some MP trucking twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays, uh, where tomorrow we're all being identical trucks, um, a Renault Premium of all things, and we try and take the same loads from town to town. And um, yeah, really, really good fun. So we all means check that out. And then back on Wednesday doing some more. Stephen knows about short. Easy tiger. What time? 7 p.m. start. Okay. The end is in sight. Be there or be square. Exactly. That's 7 p.m. GMT. Yeah, not 7 p.m. Larwood time because that'll be some point on Tuesday for us, wouldn't it? I don't know. Right, here we go. We have arrived in Constance. The railway should indeed... Well, no, because you can't get trains on this sort of road, can you? And there we go. Everybody gets off. You definitely know about square and floppy. We have arrived alive. Indeed. Whoa, hang on. Everyone's making... I'm going to go back to the coach and Everyone's making a mass exodus. I'll come out this way. There we go. Shot that. Give it back down. Where's my bonus? It's a bonus to arrive alive, exactly. Okay, so let's pop this thing back into neutral. And end the journey. The only thing we didn't do then was this um, rest because we couldn't. So let's um, log out and see how we did. Okay, so passengers transported 43 out of 43. Tickets sold 10 out of 10. Didn't sell any invalid tickets. Um, completed five stops. Contract with Central four times out of four. Didn't run out of fuel and drove 992 kilometers. Arrived on time, departed on time. Resting quality. Yeah, we lost some points there for that one. Didn't lose any passengers, though, because we didn't rest. Uh, restroom clearance was fine. Reading that clearance was fine. Wi-Fi clearance was fine. Passenger part online. Air conditioning, 99%. 1% off. Played the announcement four times. Uh, maintained driving time. Maintained work time. Property is damaged none. Didn't injure any pedestrians. No accidents. Did get dumped for speeding four times, though. Drove on the road 99.7% of the time. Uh, Breaking misbehaviour, none. Steering misbehaviour, eight. That's the bait steering. Didn't hit any curbstones. That was a thing when the game started, first started. Wow. And maintained speed limits 93% of the time and broke the safety distances once. Let's have a look at the main menu then. Let's have a look at that leaderboard. See where I am. See where you are. Okay, I'm at 406. I've been around this 400 mark for the last few months now. I really need to get up into the 300s, I think. Top 100, no chance. Friends, here we go. So ignoring Alan Sherwood as normal uh, because he's too far ahead. Uh, I'm at 406. Andy at 640. Tux, 806. Not that far behind Mr. McBee. You can do it. But obviously if you beat me, then I'll just ignore you. Um, Dylan at 812. Captain Chaos, who's currently playing XCOM 2. Uh, is at 1,074. Chris Brown at 1,280. Sam at 1,306. Um, uh, Mike Bergdahl. Yes. Alan, look at you. 19. 
uh, Mike Bergdahl at 1512, Ed at 1643, Graham Cook at 2724, M Quarter at 5667, uh, Autog at 7630, Bloodlock at 7775, Sitaro at 10320, Brad at 12,448, Didan at 17,228. No, that was wrong. 17,720. I feel like um, Tony Blackburn. Um, Matthew R., who I only added in the weeks while I was this morning, at 24,578. Johnny Ron at 28,905. Chop World at 32,500. Jack Mullin, who was watching earlier, at 35,095. Danny, boy, at 38,675. Noz, who's currently not playing anything um, at 39.704 and holding up the pack right at the bottom there is Fuzzy Bonds at 43,235. If you want to be on that leaderboard, if you want to be amongst this rogues gallery of people that can't drive a coach, send me a message through a Google Plus uh, link to which I'll leave in the description of this video on YouTube below. Uh, send me a message saying, wow, you're awesome. Please add me to your list and I will do that. And then you can be in my rogues gallery uh, at the end of every firm bus video as I do. What's my Steam ID? Uh, I just did say, send me a message through Google Plus. Uh, I'll put a link to Google Plus in the chat for you now. There you go. There's your Google Plus community. So there we go. A thousand kilometers done north of the map to the south of the map. Really, really enjoyable. In the new coach as well, which is out on the 30th. If you're watching this, uh, when is the 30th, by the way? Um, next Thursday. So the next video will go out the day after it comes out. That's useful. There we go then, job done. I'm gonna call it a day there for the stream. But at only 20 past eight. Um, yep, there we go. Thanks, Tux. Uh, at only 20 past eight. I'm going to take a 10 minute break or so and then come back and do something else. It's probably going to be trucking, isn't it? We know it's going to be the case. Uh, I might come back and do some Euro truck for an hour or so. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end the stream there. Give me 10 minutes, um, take a break, and then I'll come back, fire up the stream again, and we'll do some Euro trucking for an hour. Um, if you want to join me, it'll be Europe Server 3 somewhere. Um, and yeah, don't know where, don't know in what truck. It'll be a bring your own truck. So if you've got Truckers MP, jump into Europe Server 3. Um, get yourself ready. 10 minutes time, we'll do an hour of trucking on the stream. Um, and yeah, see how that goes. So thanks very much for watching, guys. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And um, yeah, until the next time, if you have been, Thanks very, very much for watching.